they forced me to come to Savannah and I decided to stay. All right, welcome back. If you don't know me, I'm Luis Bruno. I am a realtor down here in Savannah, Georgia, and I make content like this to help people like you make better decisions. Right there, living in Savannah, subscribe to my channel, and let's get to the point. Why do I hate some of the things in Savannah, even though I decided to stay? So first of all, who is they? They, I mean the United States government, AKA the military, AKA Uncle Sam. I spent six years in the military, I am from Puerto Rico, if you haven't noticed my accent. I came from uh, from Puerto Rico in 2013. I live in Kentucky, South Carolina, Colorado Springs, all of that. And I ended up in Savannah, Hunter Army Airfield. And that's why I'm in Savannah. Now, I hate some of the things here. <clears throat> Sorry. Number one, the gnats. If you don't know what the gnats are, basically like this bugs and mosquito style things that fly around bothering the hell out of you when it's humid and hot outside. There is a video about Will Smith basically complaining about this thing, so just Google it. Believe me, if you move here, you will hate it. I hate it too. Uh, it's called Gemini Man. We shooting in Georgia. I love Georgia, but y'all gotta do something about the bugs. Georgia is so gorgeous. No, it really is, it's beautiful, but you gotta rock this to be out here, all right? So I'm just saying y'all need to fix it. Cause I put off, I sprayed off on the bugs is on that like it's honey. I make I make my living with my face. So somebody do something about it. Quick. The second thing that I hate is the pollen season. Here in Savannah, during the pollen season before the spring, everything turns yellow. Your car, your windows, everything. It doesn't matter if you wash your car at eight o'clock in the morning, by 8:30 it will be completely dirty. Full of dust and pollen. I hate that about Savannah as well. Number three, the other thing that I hate is that in Savannah, there's not many places to actually have fun, like outdoors, um, I don't know. Like we have a bunch of movie theaters, bunch of bowling alleys, you can go downtown, have a drink. But if you have kids, there's not many places to go and have fun. Like literally, if you move, if you move here for a month, you will quickly notice what I'm talking about. Weekend number one, you go to the movie theater, go to eat, then go to the bowling alley. Then weekend number two, you're like, shit, what, what can we do? Like there's not much going on because you either go to the same places every single time, right? Because it's just a small city or you're gonna have to either get in your car, go to Jacksonville, go to Orlando, go to Atlanta, go to, I don't know, whatever place you wanna go because we don't have that many things. So if you move to Savannah, you will quickly notice that you're either gonna have to revisit the same places over and over and over again, right? If you if you travel on the weekends, perfect. Some people don't like traveling every single weekend like on road trips. But if you lived in Savannah, you're gonna have to do that if you wanna have fun with your kids. Now, number four on the things that I actually hate about Savannah. And I really don't know why this keeps happening. And I know every single state has this, where basically you're driving Driving around on the road, it looks super nice. All the houses look clean. The grass look green, everything perfect, no trash around. 10 seconds later, you are in the middle of the ghetto. Like one road looks nice, the other one looks super ghetto. The other one looks nice, the other one ghetto. It's it's weird. Like you don't I don't even understand how how that happens, but it just happens like that. There is a lot of vacant homes in Savannah, like there are areas where there is a bunch of vacant homes and it looks horrible. Like I even wonder, like when was the last time that a, a, anybody from the government drove through here? Like, do they even know this exists, right? And it's not about Savannah. Every city has that, those things, but just so you know, if you don't know about Savannah, it's the same thing here. Now you might be wondering, okay, if you hate it so much, then why did you decide to stay in the first place? Well, I decided to stay because yes, even though I hate those things, it's not, those are things that I can tolerate, okay? Those are not things that are a deal breaker to me. I actually enjoy the weather here. Yes, I complain about the weather, but I like that it doesn't snow in the winter. It's like a very low key winter. It just gets cold and it doesn't get, it doesn't snow, none of that. And I love that about Savannah. Another thing that I like is that it's actually on the coast. I can go to the beach, even though the beach doesn't compare to any other beach in Puerto Rico or the Caribbean. I can go to the beach, right? It's close to Puerto Rico. I can go on a one way trip. 
if I get on an airplane, either from Atlanta, Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville, Orlando, any places like that, I can travel to Puerto Rico. And if I have family, they can come and visit me. Now that is just me, obviously, because if you're from California or Texas or whatever, that doesn't apply to you, but I actually like that. Now, the other thing that I like is that it's actually not a crazy city. It's not like New York. This is not a huge city where you're gonna find traffic that lasts four hours, like Los Angeles or San Francisco, whatever. This is a low key city and a lot of people love it. So now that you hear my opinion about the things that, you, that, that I don't like and the things that I like, let me share with you then what I've heard about all the people who come here from out of the state, right? I have a lot of people that are clients of mine from out of the state and they, the story is almost always the same. Hey, I visited Savannah long time ago or last year or whatever. I visited Savannah. We loved it. We love the vibe, the, the historic district, the trees, uh, uh, the beach. It looks amazing. It, it, the weather is perfect. Okay. They love it, right? Because of that. So you can Google it. You can see other YouTube videos. That is what most people like. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.